Hi, I'm Chris from Turbosound, and I'm here to show you the Manchester series. Why is it called Manchester series? Well, it got designed here in our Manchester R&D facility. Today I'll take you through the whole range of products, including our line source, our point source, our amplification and DSP. What's behind me is the first of the two line source boxes. They are a double 12 inch line array. Both of these products can be used in the same line or as individual systems themselves. The Tobasan MV212 incorporates two mid-high dendritics and two 12s, whereas the XV is a single mid and high transducer firing over a 10 degree in vertical dispersion. The XV is primarily used for underhang and near fill applications when hung under a standard 212. The other part of it is the fact that I've got two mid and high drivers, which gives me effectively double the power over half of the dispersion. The longer throw capabilities box are good for up to 60, 70 meters. All of the cabinets in the Manchester series are a biamp three-way design. So it's passively crossed over between the mid and the high. A turbosound dendritic horn, as you know, turns an annular wave into a planar wave, thus giving us our line source capability. These are dual 12 inch transducers. Behind here where the dendritic is placed, there are two coaxial mid-high drivers that cross over at 400 hertz. As with every product in the Manchester range, they sound exactly the same from 400 hertz upwards. This is quite unique and will allow you to put a system together that sounds coherent and sounds familiar as you walk across the different components that you're using. New to the range is the MV210, two 10 inch drivers in the low frequency and mid range. The difference is in the dispersion. In terms of the vertical dispersion, there is up to 20 degrees. You can array up to 16 of these boxes, but you could also reduce it down to three boxes. This is the MC12P, the first of our point source cabinets. 12 inch LF section, coaxial, driving onto a next generation of dendritic horn. This horn can be rotated, so you can use it as we have here, or you can put it into a landscape mode. You can turn it into a three-way system by adding a base bin underneath. Everything can be run in buy-out mode. This box will enable you to go into passive mode, one channel of amplification. If you're using this for infill or spot fills or side fill, you're reducing the amp channels down. The lower end of the horn here in this mode, we're at 90 degrees of dispersion. As we move up through the horn, we reduce down to 50 degrees. In terms of the vertical dispersion, we come up here at plus five degrees, and then we go down at minus 30 degrees. The MC12P comes with wall brackets. There's also two point pole mount, one at minus five, one at zero. M8 pickup points, every single accessory that you would want to have has already been put together. This is the MS121, which is a 21 inch sized transducer. It can go down into the 25 Hertz region. This is one of three base bins that you'll find in the series. The MS218 is a stackable dual 18 base bin, whereas the MS215, 121 are able to be flown. There are three available to you. Front loaded 21, it's a dual front loaded 15 and a dual loaded 18, which is stackable, it doesn't fly. All of the base bins in this range have a speak on connector at the front as well as two rear to enable you to do cardioid without running cables everywhere. Together as a complete system, we think you'll be able to do the majority of shows, uh, whether that be an installation or a live touring act. It's the same components from 400 hertz upwards, which means it's got the same sound. It's driving onto the next generation of dendritic horns. Please head off to turbosound.com. In the document section, you'll find the manuals that are very comprehensive for this range. I hope you enjoyed that brief overview of the Manchester series. We look forward to bringing you more news about additional boxes adding to the Manchester range in the near future.